What's up, M3World.com? This is Lucian here. With me is Carrie Keenan hey. and Big O'Sheen. And we're going to do our Olympia picks. Um, we're going to let Carrie do the women's stuff because me and O'Sheen don't really follow, you know, follow this. <laughs> Not really. We kind of know who some of them are, but, uh, you know, we, and then we'll do the men's picks anyway. So, let's see what your top five picks are. All right, I'm going to start with bikini. Um, just a note, this is the first year bikini's ever been done at the Olympia. So, um, they've been shows all year, so we're perfect to qualify. Um, So, um, my pick, my top five, and this is this is who I think is going to win. Um, I clearly have my favorites, which I will talk about here, but Amanda Latona I think is going to win. Um, she's got a nice overall balance, and she's going to win the um, Second one, Talia Mello. She's clearly been a favorite, um, but I think Amanda's going to beat her. Um, Sonia Gonzalez, I think, is going to come third. Sonia's won a couple shows this year. She's got a great look. Um, I, I think Amanda and uh, the judges are going to I think Jessica Paxton Putnam is going to be fourth, and Dina Alcott is fifth. Dina? Dina's from the R area, so. Yeah. Um, so, a couple other players, Nicole Negrani, she's the youngest, um, but she has cleaned up some shows. Monique Minton looking good. Sherlyn Roy, who switched from figure in the bikini this year, is actually in Jess um, Putnam's switch from figure also. Um, I really like Jess, but I, uh, I think that I'm going to be Okay. So, that's bikini. Crown to figure. Um, crown favorite, Nicole Wilkinsley. She was last year's winner. I think she's going to take it again this she's year. She's going to overall good back. Yeah. She is one. She won the figure Olympia last year. We saw her in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. She looks good. Um, all these ladies look great. Um, Aaron Stern, I think, is going to come in second again. Bryce Maine. She's got a great look, but it's vastly different than Nicole. So a lot harder. So yeah, she usually comes in harder. So we'll see. Um, third, I think, is going to be Heather May French. She's going to clean it up all year, too. But I really think Nicole is going to help. Yeah, 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 she's four, four level five feet. Um, that's about all I got. I've got a couple other, I think Cheryl Brown is going to do good. Uh, Monica Escalante is going to do good. Um, I mean, everyone's going to look great, but I think that's what judges are going to do. Um, fitness, Adela. I think she's yeah. going to win it. She's last year's champ. She's always put together a solid routine. I think second is going to be Tangie Johnson. I love you, Tangie. You're awesome. I really hope you get hedge out this year, honestly, but I mean, we'll see. Adela is the, you know, the incumbent, so we'll see. And then uh, third, I think it's going to be Trish Warren. Trish Warren, you put together with all the teams. Amazing. Yeah. Trish Warren's going to be Yeah. So those are, those are uh, what I think is going to be there. Like I said, look at Angie, my girl. Um, and then Miss Olympia, now. this is uh, female bodybuilding. Iris Kyle, hands down. Yeah. I gotta Nobody's say, gonna she's the incumbent also. You know, she's been Olympia for a And then second, I think, um, Sonny. Yeah, you said Sonny. Yep, Sonny. Yep, Sonny. I think it's gonna pull up second. And either Diana Cadeau or Kathy Lee Francois. Both have done really well this year. So, top contenders. Anyway, uh, best of luck to all the ladies. Everyone's gonna look great. I know they will. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh. Alright, here we go. Now. Just to let you guys know, I, this morning I was doing a little research on what was going on at the competitors meeting. Saw some of the pictures of the guys before, you know, the Olympia. Saw the weigh-in pictures of the 202s, and these are my picks. Now, Oshin will probably have different picks than me, but we're going to figure out what's going on right now. Number one pick in the Open Olympia, Jake Sutton, hands down. And Oshin's going to disagree with me, I know he is, because he's, he's a big Kai Green fan. But this morning when we saw the pictures of Jay and Kai shaking hands, Jay's bigger than Kai Green. His face is sunken in already, and everyone in the whole room is just kind of down when they saw Jay walk in the room. He's I just a big red shirt. He's got a big red shirt, but it's just like, he looks like, I mean, uh, dude, it's great. So you would pick Kai for first, right? I would, man, definitely. His back is definitely improved. The striations and his glutes and everything has, has almost tripled from last year. That's the thing, he improves constantly on show to show in year to year. Second, I have Kai Green. So who would you have in second? I honestly would have Branch Warren. Branch. Now, why would you have Branch? What do you think? Uh, he brings a tighter package than Jay. I think his waistline has come down. I think he lost something around like 30 to 40 pounds. He's in the mid 240s. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, he's sure. he looks a lot cleaner, too. Yeah, so. he's definitely a lot tighter. In third place, I have Phil Heath. I'd agree. So, so, I mean, Phil has improved, too. I saw a video of him training um, like eight, nine days out before the Olympia. He, I mean, he looks, looks like he's improved, too. Very sharp. In fourth place, I had Branch. Who do you have in fourth? I didn't really go that far. Okay, so yeah. it's more, the reason why I put Branch in there is he's going to get out muscle. The guys in the top, you know, five are the bigger guys. Um, I don't think Dexter's going to make 
top five this year, and I think Branch is actually going to get out muscle and out conditioned because of the fact that Phil is coming in so tight, Kai is coming in so tight, and Jay, I mean, he looks so tight and so big already. No, but even Kai, when they stand shoulder to shoulder, can't stand with the width. So I had Branch in fourth. And fifth, I had Victor Martinez. Now, Victor looks really good. He's had a whole year to train. You know, last year he had a uh, death in the family, opened the muscle maker grill, he had injury. I have seen videos and pictures of him. He looks good, but he doesn't have that kind of sharpness. He never comes in super, super sharp. And when he stands like the J, again, he's not as wide as J. And he just outside the middle of the time. So he came in softer last year. Yeah. I mean, you think he's coming in, like, tighter this year? I think he's coming in. He was tighter, like, two weeks ago than he was in the show. Right? So. And sixth, I had Dexter. I don't think he's going to make top five. The reason being, he's just not big enough. He went to California to train with Charles Glass all year. Yeah. But, again, like, you saw him at the thing. And even if he's improved, he's still not big enough to hang with those, those monsters. who are coming in just as sharp, too. The name of the game is condition with the size these guys have. And, and that's pretty much what they're bringing in. Now, outside of the top six and seventh, I had Dennis Moore. He looked actually a lot smaller at the weights. Really? Yes. He, like, he didn't have any wild factor in his shirt. Now, he could come in totally shredded, but at his height, he has to look bigger than Jay Kite at his height in a shirt. He didn't have it. And he also had a kind of a, a low demeanor, too, which means that more than likely he's not feeling very good about how he, uh, he looks. Eight, I had Ronnie Rock. Oh, this good. guy looks freaking he awesome. He's right European show? Yeah. Uh, he's awesome, but he's short, and he doesn't weigh as much as the other guy. But they had a picture of him peeled down. Yeah. He's like, whoa. But he's so small compared to this guy. Ninth, I had Troy Alvarez. He won two shows or one show this year. He comes in a lot he smaller. He was the Phoenix Pro. Is that one with the Yeah. Yeah, it was early. I don't know. He's just a lot smaller than the other guys. And the 10th, I had Elvin Man, uh, Melvin Anthony in 10th, which he usually makes top 10. Again, a lot smaller than the guys. Um, Eric Frankhauser, it's his first Olympia. Tony Freeman, the tall guy who's the only one they can compare to is uh, is Wolf. But, you know, uh, Johnny Jackson, Dennis James retired today. It's his last Olympia, it's his last show. They gave him a standing ovation. He got pretty choked up. Um, Ed Nunn, Obiat Esta, the guy who won the Arnold Classic um, amateur this year. He's competing too. Again, he's a lot smaller than those. Oh, muscle. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> now, for the 202s, um, my pick for the 202s, I'd like to see Stan McQuay win him, well, honestly. He came in a whole lot bigger last week than he was in the past and thoroughly trounced the competition there. But Kevin English, I saw a picture of him too. Big, thick, looks like a little guy. And then English weighed in at? It was 202 on the But he had a hard time making weight. He almost didn't make it. No, so that was Edward Korea. Oh, that's right. Edward Korea is the one. Yeah. Eduardo Korea. Yeah. He almost didn't make it. <laughs> but yeah, he's like 202 on the button. Uh, Seth Burrows pulled out. He's not doing it. Um, Jason Arns is in there. I want to see David Henry. That's what I was going to say. It's always Dave Henry and Kevin English. I wanted that at first. I mean, uh, I totally agree. Agree. They also have Jose Raymond, who won a couple shows this year. Yeah. Again, barely made 202, and he's like 201 and a half. And he's, got, he's short and thick with giant tree trunk legs, and the judges like his physique too. So you got those guys. I mean, honestly, it's probably between Kevin English and Dave Henry again. I would like to see someone with better shape like Stan, and he has the more size now, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, All right. those are our picks. It'll be an exciting weekend. It's going to be. Definitely. Godzilla vs. King Kong. Yes, uh, Kai Green and Jay Cutler. So for M3World.com, this is Lucian, Carrie, Big O'Sheen, and we're out.